Yo, what up, my little tubers? We're back for some more drafting here on Arena. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe. And as always, don't forget to check out cardkingdom.com slash Numot for all your magic card needs. I think we opened this very same card yesterday, did we not? Oh, maybe we got it passed to us in yesterday's draft video. Grim Grin, pretty damn good. Probably going to be my choice here. Um, it's also just super fun. Like, maybe if this was a high-level competitive event... You take like the Kenra Spell Spear or something. Insane O2 drop. Um, Thrill Seeker also great. Printing Champion good. Tandem Takedown. Like this is just a very strong pack. Let's go with the Grim Grin. I think I'm going to do the five color nonsense that I usually try to do. So let's take the Grimmy here. See if we can get past some good removal or good fixing. Well, there's a Stoke the Flames. That's decent removal. I don't want to just second pick this Blighted Burgeoning though. And like I said, just do the five color fun stuff. Gift of Completion would not be a bad follow-up to Grim Grin, though, by any means. If, it, if I'm staying open, I just take the Stoke the Flames. If I want to go with Grim Grin, I take the Gift of Completion. If I want to do 5 color, I take the Blighted Burgeoning. So, let's take the Blight. Oh yeah, and get a nice Pest here. Three really good choices for a multicolor deck of some sort. The Pest, the Falls, and the Surveyor. <clears throat> Can't really go wrong with Overgrown Pest, though. These type of cards in Limited have always been fantastic, the most recent being like the Contagious Vorak, right? Vorak was a little bit better, 3-3 three, three for 3, of course, but this one does find DFCs in addition to land, so... There are... like this can draw your bombs, whereas the Contagious Vorak couldn't do that, you know? You know, you know. If you know. Into the Fire. I like this card quite a bit, too. Uh, it's a Pyroclasm that can also hit battles, but it also acts as a way to kind of reset your hand if it's not very good. And you don't even, like, if, you're, if you are Hellbent, you have no cards in your hand, and you draw this, you can still just cycle this for three mana because it's plus one cards on the second mode. Um, Dismal Backwater would be amazing here, obviously. Invasion of Lorem would also be okay, but yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the, uh, the Into the Fire there. This pack's a little bit unfortunate. Hmm. I'm going to want to be baseline green. Secondary color, it doesn't really matter what it is. Like, there are some okay cards here, of course. Tetsuko is strong, but probably not in the deck I'm building. Temporal Cleansing is decent. This card is strong. It's not good, per se, for us, anyway. I'll just take the 1-3 for three, 3. I don't think we need to take the Cleansing. A 1-3 is still a fine blocker. Wow, what is happening here? Sixth pick, Kenra. Holy smokes. Well, that's absolutely nuts. Passing an Ancient. Cut short, Ren's Resolve. Okay, well... Bad news. It looks like the red blue like convoke deck is just extremely open. And we might just have to move into that instead. Shadow let's take Shadow the Source over Storm Sculptor. Just because it's a single color and it's removal. Oh my gosh, Invading number or Invasion of Mercadia too. This is another amazing card. Alright, I mean looks like red is flowing. I'm gonna have to jump into it, maybe as the base. Might not be able to do the five. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't make sense. I do not know what's going on. We just wield a spell spear, which was maybe the best card in our opening pack, so. Okay, locked into red. <clears throat> oh, you know what? I could take the Rada here, too. We could go red green. Uh I guess the host charger is just safer. The Rada is really good if you can get Convoke cards, though. Like, Instant Speed Convoke especially is insane with Rada. And you know what? I can pick Host Chargers up later. Let's do that. Javelinier is surprisingly solid. Um, Yeah, this is... Well, we found the open lane. I wanted to go 5 color. I took Grim Grin over the Spell Spear, and then we wield it somehow. Again, read this card. 2 mana 2-2 two, two with Trample Prowess. You can pay 3 and 2 life. 
three three trample ward two prowess prowess as early as turn three and limited like this card can just win the game by itself absolutely um i haven't been huge on barrage but i think it's okay maybe essence all right, well, crazy red first pack, and now we're opening a Jingataxius pack two. Uh, it's one of the weaker Praetors, but it's still freaking great. 5-5, five, five, Ward 2 for 5, that draws extra cards, I mean. What am I losing out on here? In green, I'm losing Invasion of Zendikar, which I think is amazing. Wary Thespian, Highlands. I guess Ral's Reinforcements is really good too for the more red Convokey theme. Artistic Refusals, fantastic too. Let's take the gin and see what happens. Oh, this is one I have not gotten to play with yet. In fact, until yesterday when I was just cracking packs on Arena, I had never even seen this card um, available. I'm, obviously, this is a reprint, but Aurelia, the war leader, is so sick. 3-4 Flying, Vigilance, Haste, and whenever it attacks for the first time, untap all creatures, and you get an additional combat. That card is super fun. White has not been open. I don't really think taking a double white card makes sense here. Invasion of Ragatha is decent, and so is Artistic Refusal. I think those are probably the better choices. I guess the... Well, maybe the red cards wheel like they did last time. Let's just take the Artistic Refusal. Tygum. Uh, oh, really bad pack here for us if we're not... Well, I guess we can still take the green. Here's the Invasion of Zendikar. Take that over Portent Tracker. Agar, Joyful Storm Sculptor. Very nice, very nice. Mm. Agar's super good with any burn spells. But Storm Sculptor's fantastic with the top end Convoke that I have. I like taking the Agar though. Comes down earlier. Swiftwater Cliffs looks fantastic. Oh, yeah, there's a dispersal, too. We've been looking for these. This is, like, one of the best blue commons, if not the best. It's great. Passing up Prankster. Okay, I guess I'm leaning into the red-blue instead. We get a... Let's see here. Squadron's good. Tidal Terror's good. Yeah, another big Convoke card. So I really want to get that uh, Ral's Reinforcements on the wheel. Cryptomancer, Scrounger's okay. Another Shatter the Source. Hmm. I like taking the card draw here, maybe, over the second Shatter. Ah, Cryptomancer's super nice, though, when I have two Spell Spears, but yeah, let's go with the card draw. All right, beautiful. We did get the reinforcements on the wheel. It doesn't look like much, but it enables so much good um, convoking. Like oftentimes, this is like two mana to add two mana, you know, later on. Wow, invasion, scrounger. Yeah, so we got all the red cards back. No problem. Scrounger's pretty good here with the twos. Actually, Scrounger's really good with Tetsuko as well, but... Alrighty. I still can't believe those Spell Spears came around so late in pack one. Oh, you know what I realized? I guess I can just be splashing the Grim Grin, can't I? If I just find some random black sources. Don't know why I wasn't even considering that. I guess because I thought I was red-green for a little bit. But yeah, if we can get a little bit of uh, black fixing, then we will for sure play the smiley boy.
into a Quintorius. Another very solid card. Is it what we want, though? No. Um, let's see. Pack one, we wield the Branch Burner, which was in the same pack as the Spell Spear. I'm not saying it's going to happen again, but it might. I'm going to take the Captive Weird here. Just a great one drop, yeah. 1-3, one, that turns into a 3-3 three, three draw card. So we could wield the Branch, the Title, or the Reinforcements and Resolve. Good. Very good. I guess I need a little bit more interaction. Okay, there's a little bit of fixing for uh, Grimgrin. And that's a pretty easy pickup, right? Since all the Scroungers wield in pack 2. I haven't seen any Volcanic Spite. It's probably my biggest card I'm missing right now. Oh, we also don't have any preening champions. Maybe that's better than uh, Dispersal in terms of blue commons. Invasion of Karsis. This card is nice. Yeah, we'll take it. There's a bit of removal. Three damage to each creature and Planeswalker when it ETBs. And then if you get to flip it, it does some nice stuff. 4-4 four, four, Ward 2. And then uh, two damage to the opponent whenever you cast anything is great. We are losing out on another Branch Burner and a sh Dread Ship. Oh well. You know, you shouldn't pass this type of card, right? It's just too unique. Invasion of Theros. Oh, this is a really bad pack. Analyst and Bane Splitter, and no fixing for us, so I'm just going to take the rare. <laughs> How many, how many things trigger Jingataxius here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's not bad. There's a volcanic spite. Hello, friend. Nice to see you, fifth pick. Yeah, I was again. I was surprised we hadn't seen any of these, given how open red had been. Another another title tear. I've passed a bunch of those, and we don't have a single one yet. Ooh, there's a storm sculptor now. Post charger. Shapecraft's okay. We don't have anything for the Valduck. Would I splash Grimgrin off of like two lands? Eh, I'm guessing it's safer just not to run the Grimgrin, especially when my creature count's kind of low. Because remember, you have to sack a creature to untap Grimgrin, and I do have like one token producer, and I have a couple of the... Uh, Battles that flip to creatures, but I don't think that's going to work out. Another squadron? I need to wield that other reinforcements. Okay, there's a Cryptomancer. We will take that. It's not bad. 4-3 Menace is not a bad beat or two, but... Okay, there's the reinforcements, and I think we actually take that over to the Branch Burner. I think that makes a lot of sense in this deck. Actually, we wield all four of the cards I kind of wanted. Scrounger came back too, lovely. Uh, is this a 16 lander? Oh yeah, the dread ship as well. Sheesh. Everything's coming back. We could probably get away with 16 lands. Creature count went up to 11 base. And then two reinforcements, some battles, and the Storm Sculptor makes extras. There's the Tidal Terror too. I guess Tidal Terror probably replaces Javelin Ear here. It's a good late game play, but it also land cycles for us early and lets us more reasonably run 16 lands. Alright, deck looks really good. Red was super heavy in the draft. Um, Should be able to go one fewer on the blue. 
still reeling from that. What was it? Super late spell spear number one and then wheeling the second one is just nuts. All right. Decent deck. Let's take it off to round one. Go, go, boom, booms. How we doing? Hand looks pretty good. Oh, yeah. This hand just needs one land and it is fantastic. Dispersal Spite, Agar, Tetsuko. Great hands. That's possible draws probably our Invasion of Mercadia or whatever it's called. <laughs> Off the top. Um, I'm going to discard... Tetsuko here, I think. Because now we can just flip it immediately with Invasion. Oh my god, this is the, the dream scenario. They played a one toughness creature too. We get to blow up our battle, kill their 3-1. This is literally the best possible. Wow. That doesn't even feel fair. That's good, I ain't gonna cut it. Let's see... Yeah, I just gotta kill the Anafenza. And then I'm gonna discard the reinforcements and try to find a land for Gataxius next turn. It's fine. This turn, in order to flip this, I think what I'm going to do is discard the Agar now. Make a couple of tokens. They can't block and trade, because I still get to flip it. Might just be discarding the Invasion of Karsis next turn, but... If they don't have a Wrath here, they're just basically dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we're going to go like this. We're going to go... Disperse this surveil. Okay, they're off it. And then I was going to discard the invasion and attack for... I, I don't even know how much. 15? <laughs> uh, the best possible. Turn 2 invasion of Mercadia. They play a 2 drop with 1 toughness. I go turn 3 invasion of Ragatha. Flip my battle. Kill your creature. The most insane potential. Game two. Very nice. Very nice hand here. Yeah, if the deck keeps getting opening hands like this. Feeling pretty good. Blue, green. This is a pretty good spell spear hand. Alright, 1 3 that loots when it ETBs or dies. I don't take this card very high, but it is a good card, I think. This is white or blue creature, right? Yeah. I think I just like flipping this now. And then if they don't do anything to it this turn, which it's a little bit harder for them to do because of the ward too. I mean, they could have cosmic hunger. That would suck. Okay, so now they can't kill this. They can still attack into it though. And remember, the historian gains indestructible, or rather doesn't gain it. It just has it if it's attacking a battle, so... Alright, there's a one toughness creature for us to kill with Barrage. So they attack that, I just take the hit. I 
if they have a pump effect, so be it. Okay, I assume they'll just play their two drop. Nice. And now we get to do some stuff here, I think. Um... Damn. Actually, which way do I want to do this, though? I guess we just... Invasion and flip it? Well, I could hit them for a ton here, too. I could play Ral's reinforcements and attack them for seven. Wow, I could put him to nine here. But this has to be better, right? Because the creature we get on this flip side with Into the Fire and our creatures. Yeah, that's insane. Oh, I guess this would flip their invasion of Pyrulia, though. Okay, that's fine. So they're going to be able to flip their thing here, but... Doesn't really matter. Better than bounce this than bounce my spell stalker, anyways. Oh, what? Why did they do that again? I can just kill their flyer with my invasion that they bounced. Okay. Hit them for another four. <laughs> They're chumping, that's great. If they're letting me flip it, that's great. This deck is drawing nasty. I just take four here, no problem. Trample ward, yeah. So play any creatures with four or less toughness and the game is over. If they bounce my Disciple of the Inferno in response, that's a little bit annoying. Oh, that's fine. Aren't they still just dead here from all the triggers? Yeah, they are. Oh, uh, what a two drop, huh? Spell spear for you. What a goddamn two drop. Might it be the best uncommon in the format? Maybe. It's definitely up there if it's not. I right, game three. All right, our worst starting hand yet, but it's not bad. Makes it a little bit better. I think I'm going to discard the squadron here. Okay, now we can go Spell Spear plus Tapland next. They have a Thalid, that's great. They just want to flip it. I'm okay with that. I'll take three if they want. Otherwise, we can just flip ours back. Atris, nice. 
the top will be face down. So let's put the Flourish versus the Death Toucher plus Land. Both are annoying piles for us. Go Agar. Pack. They go for some multi block. We get them really good with Spite. If they don't block, we kill Atris and draw a card off of Agar and flip our invasion. <laughs> uh, this is a damned if you do, damned if you don't position for the opponents. There's really just no good way for them to do this. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. <laughs> I almost feel bad for them. Oh, my Lord. This is disgusting beyond belief. I just have too many good things going on here, it feels like. I mean, if they have, like, a Grim Grin, that's really bad for us, I, guess, I suppose. Good. Fill that with Invasion. Or not? Do they have the artistic? Oh, sure, that's fine. In this scenario, they're going to take a bunch of damage then instead. So next turn I can go Tetsuko, activate Flame Right. Kill them with Uber Lethal. Oh okay, well that was very good actually. Though they're still just dead here. Yeah. Our draws have been insane. I mean, our deck's great, but our draws have just been lining up so well. Can you imagine I wanted to force five color? I tried. But sometimes you gotta read the signals and be like, okay, well, I guess we gotta do what's open instead of what's fun. Not that this isn't fun, it's just, yeah, you get it. Okay, 3-0 on to 4. Another decent enough hand. Captive Weird, Agar. Remember, there aren't many giants in this format, so... Combat-wise, you're not expecting to get stuff off of Agar, but just any burn or Agar itself over killing a creature works. Oh, looks like we're playing against the... Um, the red-green battle deck. Yeah, they've got an invasion of Mercadia. Okay, so that's going to be annoying, because uh, that frontliner now attacks as a 3-3. Three, three. Oh, they missed lands, though. I think I have to fire that off. Oh, no, it does deal damage to battles, too. <laughs> so awkward. Okay, so actually, wait, 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 wait. This is maybe not bad, then. In fact, this is probably really good. I can play Agar here, 
stay go. Let them flip the battle. And then we can go barrage on the flipped 3-3 three, three, and then into the fire to wipe the rest of the board draw card. Play another creature that has two toughness or something. Please. No, don't kill that. You don't want to do that. You want to simply play out like a, an overgrown pest. I mean, I could double block the frontliner with Agar and Captive Weird. There's nothing wrong with that. But I think I'm just going to stick with my game plan. Let them flip it. Can I call it or can I call it? Yeah, this next turn is going to be nice. We're going to wipe their board. We're going to draw a card. We're going to attack for three. Boom, baby. Boom, frickin' baby. Oh, that's a good one. Axe is a 4 4. Yep. Okay. It's pretty obvious I have artistic refusal here, but so be it. Like, awkwardly, they could just use the ability of the creature in their graveyard to give their Geodome plus two, plus two. And if they do that, then I'll just use the artistic to draw two. I'm not going to waste my mana. Yep. Oh, sure. I'll counter that, that's fine. Taxius. Is Gataxius even better here? I guess it is. I could just lose to that Geoderm by itself. We're really hoping they just develop out their board this turn. Okay. Well. I take seven, I go to three. Need to find dispersal. I can multi block that as well. But I might be dead here. Absolutely. Well, that gives it first strike. <laughs> so I have to block this then. Soak up. Go to one life. It's not dispersal. This will draw us a card. Oh my gosh, that's so close to lethal. That is so freaking close to lethal, it's crazy. Ah, good beats. Yowza. So what were our outs? At that, once it was a 10-10, I think it was just dispersal as an out.
yeah, just dispersal as an out at that point. But before that, we could have drawn shatter. Hmm. What was my other play instead of... So my other play instead of holding up the artistic was instead to flip my weird. I guess that was probably the right play, not even in hindsight. Because they had the uh, graveyard effect. Like we did end up countering a spell still that turn, but yeah. Should have just made it less obvious. Flip my captive, attack for six. In fact, I could have raced them at that point. Though instead, then the following turn, maybe they just go for seed core. Don't know. Would have been interesting. Easy keep. Ooh, playing against a Lutri companion. Very nice. So, Lutri Companion gives us a little bit of info, right? We know for sure they can't have a second of any one spell. Okay. Back for two. Err. Weird was a good draw. Survives through our in the fire. Oh, they're going to wait on the sack too. Nice. All right, come on. A little bit more juice for the fire. Perfect. Love it. Uh, they will be able to activate their Berserker off of the Omen Hawker though. So it's not like... Three for one value here, but still good. I doubt they want to put anything back with the gorilla. Mill the oh, they do. What? They want to redraw one of those? I'm okay with that, I guess. Sure. Timmy. Timmy and pass. Hmm. So I'm going to go Spite here, pitching the invasion. There's the blue, great. And the reinforcements acts as mana for our squadron next turn if we want it as well. I'm right, just putting Lutri in hand. They're missing lands though, so this is probably the best time to get Gataxius online. They need to have like the minus six, minus six effect. Okay, now they could have three mana? I don't know. Basically, at this point, we just want to draw things that trigger Jin Gataxius. Orager for reinforcements or spite. Well, they didn't pay. That is more concerning. That's pretty good. And I'm okay with that. Wait for them to use that ability. Oh, now I guess we'll just eat their 3-1 flyer. I mean, they know I have the Cryptomancer, so... Might as well do that now.
Ass. Oh, so they have Lutri in hand. Um... I'm going to go Scrounger here. I'm going to put on one of my 1-1 one -one tokens. And just attack like this. That way if they have Dispersal plus Lutri, it's not a huge blowout. Oops, not that. I want to discard the reinforcements here. There's a nice draw. Okay, go. What if they have the Wrath? Okay, and that's probably game over. Oh, jeez. So, let's see. Attack with everything but the crypto. Oh, they have Wicked Slumber. Sure, so they're going to copy it. Uh, okay, yeah, so let's copy that before. Now Lutri has nothing to copy. I mean, now look at our hand, even if they have the Wrath. <laughs> and I can't get killed by the Mill 10 card, because I still have 13 left. Pretty good spot to be in. Alright, nice. Nice, 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 nice. And off to a nice little four and one start. On the play, hand is fantastic. And it feels good to have a good deck and get good draws, let me tell ya. So we can go turn two Rals into turn three Meeting of the Minds, for example. Though it's possible we just want to play out the invasion ASAP and try to flip it, depending on if our opponent has anything on turn two for uh to oppose our reinforcements. Which land are you going to play? Hello? Hello? Oh, nice. Tetsuko is really good for pushing damage into the invasion. They have a tracker. That's a good one. Uh, I guess here I'm going to go Tetsuko into Meeting of the Minds.
Should be fairly obvious that I have it. It's the only reason I wouldn't attack there. Hello, friends. All of these friends. Let's go land cycle. Invasion. Let's pitch the storm sculptor here. And smack for three. Good, good, good. And we got a five drop. We have a bounce spell though, so not too concerned. Oh yeah. Tangled Skyline is very good, and they get to flip the token immediately, but we're still looking good here, I think. So let's go like this. Pop the flyer. Land. Attack. Flip. Hold up refusal. Flame right is pretty freaking disgusting with uh, Tetsuko here. We're just going to take the five initially. We're holding up every single one of our tricks. Good enough. Kills the portent tracker. It's fine. Man, I should really just get Jingataxius online first. Start drawing extra cards. I'm going to leave back one of the tokens to chump the 5-5 five five if they decide to attack. Tokens did more than enough work there. Another tracker. One card in hand. Alright, let's start doing things. Invasion, draw a card off of Gitaxius. Hit them for four. Tracker for one. Oh, they're going to let me flip it. Nice. All right, now we just say go. Hold up Dispersal, hold up Crypto. And so even though this will only cast or cost one if they attack, we'll still draw a card off of Jin Gataxius because the mana cost will still be three, but they're off of it. All right, five, one, yeah. Game seven. We can keep this hand because we have invasion. Ideally goes and finds us a blue source. Awkwardly, I think I'm going to discard the flyer here and play it a little bit safe. Oh, into the fire also works. 
we can use that to uh, get a new hand. I'm going to pitch the agar in the mountain for sure. Yeah, that's good enough. Put two on the bottom, draw three. Oh. Okay, maybe a few too many lands there. Weird. Oh, they're just running out the crypto. Huh. Gotcha, they want to start flipping their invasion. Mill the Butcher. They mill the Spell Spear, a land, and a Spite from me. We haven't had many spell spears on turn two. Alright, eyes. Way too greedy just to uh, pass there with refusal open. This gives us a good mass of blockers. Plus, it's effectively three mana towards our artistic refusal. Man, Island off the top would be so insane. Island for playing Jin Gataxius and holding up Refusal would be bonkers. Ooh, they have two of those? All right. They discard the Shatter. That is not the island we were looking for. Damn, island there was so good! I'm not going to counter that. Come on, island. You know, had I not discarded Shadow the Source and had I discarded Jin Gataxius, we might have won already. We would have flipped our Chiron Flame Rite with all of these tokens. I mean, I guess they don't attack into 3 threes very well, but it would have been really scary from their perspective. Eh? still cast our refusal here too though if they allow damage to happen then I won't be able to anymore found an island Oh, they ordered the creatures wrong, too, because they thought they were going to get me. Nice. Sure, that's fine. Well, they are going to start flipping those 4-4s. Four 
I guess they get to copy my spell spear or a flyer. We get to flip this in trade for my 2-2. Two, two. Okay. Uh, I don't think we're winning, but we're ahead on board. Them flipping the invasion of Amon Ket. Pretty gross. Sure, that's not the worst. I don't even think we want Jingataxius anymore. Okay. Need to find like our own dispersal or something. Reinforcements. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I think we're losing here. I messed up by keeping Gataxius. If I had kept Shadow the Source, I think we win this game pretty easily. So that's on me. But how could I not pass up that value? It's not... It's not great. Four, eight, twelve, fifteen. Am I dead if I attack with all? Let's see, they go one, two, three, four. They take ten. This is not even that good. Pretty dead. Oh, I guess I should have left back the 4-3. I forgot their token was become a 5-5 five five because of the Grafted Butcher. Yeah... That one decision. I needed to discard Jingataxius instead of that Shadow the Source. I think it's a very easy win otherwise. I mean, they still have five cards in their hands, so this is pretty unbeatable. Ooh, 
actually got to breach the multiverse too. Awesome. Three cards left in my deck. Oh, they only have one card left in theirs. Hold up. If they accidentally flip a card and... Oh, I guess Tawashi is a May, isn't it? Yeah, you may. Oh, is that lethal? Gives menace. Oh, it's lethal anyways, isn't it? Never mind. I can only block one creature. Dang it. Well, I threw that. Ah, that's my fault. Gataxius did absolutely nothing anyways, and I couldn't even cast it since I didn't have double blue until a little while later. So, discard Gataxius, play Shatter the Source, flip our Elemental Maker. We have so many more creatures than they do, and we just get to start swarming them. I threw that. I threw that for sure. Good beats. GG. Let's just not throw any more games. So 5-2, and two, need to win two more. Ooh, we got the 2-3 uh, the punch. Wow, what? The 2-3-4 punch, even, if we wanted to. Although, I guess that doesn't make sense. But Invasion of Mercadia, 4 loyalty, Invasion of Regatha, flip it. If they play any one toughness creature, we just get them pretty funny. Um, God, I don't even want to discard anything, but I guess I'm going to discard the reinforcements. Even though I have a squadron in my hand, so reinforcements is really good there. Oh, I guess that works too. I'm not going to just immediately flip it. Let's wait for them to do something. Are they going to spite one of my tokens? Wow. They must have needed that card really, really badly. Well, that's pretty good. Do I just want a invasion of Karsis right now? Yeah, that's fine. Because I can even flip the invasion of Karsis with my Regatha if I want to. Sadly, this has ward pay two life and not ward like two mana. And especially given the fact that they used Volcanic Spite on a 1-1, one, one, I have to imagine they have more removal in hand, but... Yeah. I don't think we need the Agar. But I do want the six lands. Well, if they don't kill this, we'll, we're probably okay. If they just like flip and draw a card, I'm alright with that. So land, spell, spear again, yeah. I'm gonna let them take the hit so I can hold up refusal. Easy counter. 
Yikes. Ooh, they have two spell spears as well. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. I mean, I guess we're just supposed to do this and start making a bunch of unblockable creatures. Remember, Tetsuko loses the unblockable once I uh, pump it up with the flame, right? Although maybe it was still okay to trade with one of those, but they have to invest three mana into it as well. But those things can pop off real quick with any number of non-creature spells. I do think we just trade here absolutely now. I gave them a lot of value off of that one two drop. That's fine. That's fine. Two, four, six, eight. And we almost have them just dead here. Go to one. It's not likely I die here, but it is possible. The fact that they're at one means they can't flip their other Kenra. So, they won't be able to get the uber prowess. Hmm. Man, a lot of different lines you can take with decks like these, so... I've made a few mistakes, and it did cost us that one match that we lost previously, but we're 6-2 and two now, so ideally we can uh, convert to the trophy here. Let's get a good draw. Final boss. On the draw, hand is actually just mediocre. It's a keep, but it's all creatures. Yeah. It looks like it does stuff, but it doesn't actually do all that much. I have a turn two Wrath. I guess I'm going to lead on Tetsuko then, just as a blocker. Play Agar, turn three. Oh, this is not good. We need to draw one of our Wrath effects. Yeah, if we can draw the deal three to all creatures card... We're probably going to be in a spot where we can't lose, just because white and blue goes so wide. Uh, that's fine, they're just going to draw a card here. We don't actually want to draw Agar again, so... Make two tokens... Pack for one... I'm gonna go for it. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Fair enough. That was a great draw. Good. We get a free roll attack with the 2-2 two because -two they might not block. As they immediately block. Alright, my boy Jin. Do me a solid. Don't die to a seal of existence or whatever. Why do I say these things? Good news is they don't get to draw a card with Wrath. It taps them out, but... Boo. It's good. It's unblockable with Tetsuko, so it's actually kind of insane. Oh, I didn't need to crew that one. Whoopsies. That was bad. I could have held up my mana for a... Uh, dispersal there. I could have just crewed with that too, too. Hmm. 
Okay, still attacking. Invasion of New Phyrexia. Nice. We just have him on a two-turn clock here, though. They can make a bunch of 3-3s three with Raph's ability, but we have three blockers, so we don't die. Desperation did not pay the Wrath ability. Okay. I guess they're just GGing. Just dead, right? All right, GG's. Yeah, we did it. Pulled off the 7-2. Probably threw away at least one of those games that we lost. Don't know about the second. I don't remember the, what it was, but yeah. First picked a Grim Grin, was looking to be five colors, started taking some green cards, and then the Spell Spears, man. They came back, red was super open, and we ended up with a really nice little uh, blue-red Convoke deck, so... Seven wins there. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you back next time. Bye-bye.